All right, so let's start over on R1. The configuration on here is very simple. Uh, we can do a show run real quick. And we don't have anything configured except for just a username so that we can tell net back and forth. I don't have any IP addresses set. All the serial interfaces are defaulted. And then just my console line configuration. I've got the same thing on R2. So the first thing you want to do is you want to do a show int, I'm sorry, show IP int brief. This shows you the serial interfaces that you have, and on this case we have four of them. We're gonna be configuring serial zero slash zero because that's the one that's actually connected to the Frame Relay Cloud. So get in configuration mode and in serial zero slash zero. And like I said, I like to shut down the interface. I know that shut down because I just saw the status, but just force a habit to make sure that my fingers are conditioned to shut down the interface before I change the encapsulation. Do show interfaces s0 slash zero to see the state of the interface we're about to configure I'm gonna hit the space bar all of this does fit on the screen so you can see we're admin down protocols down that's what we expect encapsulation HDLC so that's a default so let's go ahead with our first command which is gonna be encapsulation you gotta bear with me I'm not used to spelling these out I'm used to typing ENC space FRA and that's encapsulation frame so encapsulation frame really if we invoke the question mark here we can see that there are a couple of options here uh, multi-link frame relay another lesson like I said and here's that option to change the frame relay encapsulation type to the industry standard IETF if you want to do that for all frame relay connections on here again you could do that on a Delsi by Delsi basis today we're not going to worry about that because we're rocking Cisco on both sides of this bad boy so we can go ahead and hit enter and now the interesting thing here is if we up arrow and reissue our do show interface as zero zero slash zero command let's see what's changed on that interface so we can see it looks pretty same, much the same uh, we get down to here and you have encapsulation frame relay which is exactly what we wanted I can't believe there's a train in the background I'm gonna pause for just a second okay I'm back I think Burlington Northern is done messing with my flow Let's get back into this. We had set the encapsulation frame really, and we see that when we do a show interfaces. What's interesting is now we have a whole bunch more stuff here that's specific to frame relay and that's our LMI statistics here and they're all gonna be zeros it's gonna be down because our interface is down we got it administratively down what's interesting here is you get the Cisco the LMI type which is Cisco by default and we are a frame relay DTE device because we're not a frame relay switch so we're gonna be the DTE rather than the DC and then because we're using Cisco Cisco uses LMI Delsi 1023 for LMI for communications if this type were set to ANSI or Q933A it would change this Delsi to zero. A little bit of trivia, but that harkens back to our first lesson. Uh, this is that frame relay switch versus circuit. We don't give a damn about that. We also really don't give a damn about LAPF at this point. So just know that you will see the encapsulation change to frame relay and you will get some additional information in your show interfaces output that is specific to frame relay. Okay, so then the next step is an optional step. Like I said, you do have to match your LMI type with that of the frame relay switch. We don't have to worry about that because AutoSense is gonna kick in, but if we did want to worry about that, frame relay, all these commands start with frame relay except for encapsulation, of course, and you're going to want to type in LMI and then question is a ton of LMI options here. What we're looking for is this last guy here, which is LMI type and then question mark and you can see here's our three choices Cisco which is a default ANSI U933A so if we were to change this to ANSI for shits and giggles and then go back up and do show interfaces we can see now that the LMI type has changed to ANSI which is actually Annex D that's another name for it and the, L the LMI Delsi has changed from the Cisco LMI Delsi of 1023 to the ANSI Annex D Delsi of zero we don't want this because this will most likely incur a mismatch with our frame relay switch so in order to set it back to just the normal auto sense go ahead and just know this command not k-n-o-w but put no in front of it and now if we do a show run interface as zero slash zero we shouldn't see anything as far as LMI because this is the default and we don't see LMI we can also do a double check by reissuing our show interfaces command and we can see that we are back to Cisco the LMI Delsi has changed now while the default is Cisco we're really defaulted to auto sense it's just using Cisco until this interface comes up and it determines what the actual LMI type the uh, frame relay switch is speaking so now let's go ahead and do our last optional command which is going to be mandatory today we're going to type no and then frame relay which is what almost all of these commands are and you'll see there's a ton of stuff here a lot of this is that LMI garbage but what we're looking for is inverse arc oh I didn't type in enough characters 
inverse, I need to spell it right. So we're gonna go ahead and turn off frame really inverse setup. And like I said, we'll go through this in a lot more detail just for today. Let's just turn it off and be done with it. All right, and then the next step is not really a frame really step. It is to give ourselves a layer three address. And we're gonna do that with the IP address command. And today we're gonna use 10.1. I'm gonna do 123 because that's what I have in the slides up. So I'll go ahead and give that a 24 bit subnet mask. And now the last command is the quote unquote killer. We're going to set up our mapping. So again, it's frame relay. And then you can see there's a ton of frame relay stuff, but we're looking for frame relay map. And when you're doing this, go ahead and use the Cisco iOS help to your advantage. So here you set the protocol and you can see there's a number of protocols like Apple Talk and uh, DeckNet and IPX. We're going to be using IP and then we're gonna go ahead and invoke the iOS help again. This is where it might get a little bit confusing because it says protocol specific address. Uh, they could have been nice and put in hey jackass you're going to want to use the remote address or you're going to screw this up but we're going to know better than to use a local address we're going to specify router 2's ip address and once again invoke the ios help and here we don't have a lot of choices vc bundle i honestly don't even know what that does uh, we're going to specify the delc now later on in a different lesson i'll show you a trick to get the delc if you don't know what the delc is uh, you really should know what it is. Today we're going to be reasonably sure that our Delcy is 102. And then question mark, you've got some options here for compression. Uh, again, I told you you could set the frame relay type on a Delcy by Delcy basis. And you can see there you have Cisco and IETF. By default, we will be using Cisco. What we want to do here is broadcast. This is a pseudo broadcast command. Broadcast should be forwarded to this address. So let's go ahead and type broadcast. That's all we need. So now we're done with our frame relay configuration. If we do a do show run interface 0 slash 0, we can see that we've got our IP address. Need that. We've changed our encapsulation to frame relay. We're still in shutdown. These were just default commands that were on there. And then we have our frame relay map and we have also disabled frame relay inverse ARP. So those are your basic steps. So now let's go ahead and go over to R2 and repeat the process. Since it's the first time that we're going through this, I'm gonna go ahead and go through this with you. I'm not gonna go into detail on the commands, but let's make sure that we remember what we're doing. We're gonna go on the interface. We're going to shut it down. We're going to change the encapsulation to frame relay, and I'm going to be using far less letters this time. Now the next step is to, do you remember what it is? There's a couple optional steps. We could set the LMI type. We're gonna be cool with AutoSense. Uh, we could go ahead and change that encapsulation type to IETF if we wanted to, but we're gonna be cool with Cisco. So the next step that we're gonna do is we're going to disable frame relay inverse ARP. And then finally, we got two steps left. We need to give an IP address. And a lot of times when I'm doing frame relay, I forget to put the IP address and sit there and troubleshoot and troubleshoot. Thing is, if you configure the map, you'll start looking at frame relay verification commands and you'll see, oh, the map is right and blah, blah, blah. Why is this not working? And you won't go back and check to see that your basic command, which is to ensure that you have a layer three address on your interface has not been entered. So don't forget your IP address. This case is 10.1.123.2 the 24 bit subnet mask. And the final one is that frame relay map. So frame map, and it's a protocol, which is gonna be IP. The remote IP address is 10.1.123.1. And then the local DLC, which is going to be 201 in this case. And then we want to enable pseudo broadcast support. So let's go ahead, and I like to do this whenever I'm configuring an interface. Before I bring it up, I like it to look at the interface and make sure that I didn't forget anything. So you can do that way. When you're in configuration mode, the do command before that will allow you to issue privilege exec show commands. So in this case, we're gonna do a show, I can type it right, run int s0 slash zero. So we're gonna take a look at the running configuration of this serial interface. And you can see that we have everything we need. We have an IP address, we have our encapsulation set to frame relay, we have our frame relay map, and we have disabled frame relay inverse ARP. Technically, we don't have to disable frame relay inverse ARP in this case because a frame relay map will take precedence over any dynamic mapping, and there's only one Delcy on here. So, but anyways, I just wanted to take this out of the equation completely. So now all we have to do is go ahead and no shut these guys, and we will see if we configured this correctly. 